Because I love you. Yeah. And don't you forget it. Whenever you need me, if you want me to put it on you, come on. Oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris, the YouTube critic, coming back at you with another video. Today's video, man, is going to be top five best K-pop performances. Uh, but before we get into this video, if you all would, go ahead and smash that like button. That way YouTube know you love us. We would gladly appreciate it, baby. The link to this video will be down in the description below. Y'all know I love my K-pop, man. We about to watch my K-pop, man. Now, I think this video, I'm not sure, so don't quote me on this, but I think this is a either... 2015 or 2016 we'll know once we get into it but we're gonna see what they're talking about man see if y'all agree if y'all agree with this list give it a thumbs up if y'all don't agree with this list do not give it a thumbs down just put down just put down in the comment section what you believe is the best performances of either 2015 2016 i don't know which one it is like i said but we're about to get into this video man the link to the video is down in the description below y'all gonna hear little andrew back here Kick, cacking, cock, cacking, laughing and giggling like a, and kukaiing like a little baby. It's okay. He's over here playing. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into the video big time. Let's go! What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Jay, and welcome to the K-List, where today we're counting down the top five best K-pop performers. <laughs> So as most of you know, I'm a pretty big K-drama fan, but K-pop also happens to be a pretty big obsession of mine. One of the things that draws me to the genre is the amount of attention and detail they tend to always put when always, it comes to performances. Man. I mean, K-pop is home to some of the best choreography, set design, and some of the most charismatic performers the music industry yep. has to offer. But when it comes to top-notch performers and performances, which K-pop groups always deliver? Let's find out today as we count down the top five idol performers. Big Bang, with number BTS, five, XO. So when it XO. comes to live performances, XO is always a group to look forward to. Although XO used to get a lot of slack back in the day due to their tendency to lip sync during live performances, they always managed to make up for it with other awesome qualities. Because of the large size of the group, they always show off really cool formations and choreography, and they always go out of their way to switch things up with new and innovative stages, especially at big events. They have a really solid dance line in Kai, Lei, and Sehun who can pull off really complex routines, but nowadays even non-dance line members like Baekhyun and Dio tend to kill it when it comes to choreography. Moving on to number four, CL. So CL has always been a standout ever since her debut with the group 2 one During group performances, even though, you know, I stand for and love the other members so much, CL always had this way of, like, you know, making it so all eyes were on her, like you were just glued to her. As she's starting to get into, like, solo promotions more and more, she's really reaching her full potential as a really great performer. The way that she's really able to make the stage hers puts her like in a league of her own. Moving on to number three, Bangtan Son Yun Dan, yes. BTS. Now, BTS is pretty new. I mean, they're only like just over the two year mark. But regardless, they manage to deliver performances that are like on par with veteran acts. There's a lot of elements that make BTS such great performers. But if I had to narrow it down to three, I would have to say one, their choreography, which is basically some of the best choreo in K-pop right now. And they always execute it flawlessly. Two, the charisma of the members, which is like no joke. And last but not least, their ability to keep their energy really up like their stages always have high energy like i mentioned before they have really a hard and intricate choreography that of course takes a toll on them and gets them really really tired but you would never know by the way that they always keep their energy up during their performances like they don't show the fact that they're tired moving on to number two shiny so at this point i'm pretty sure like shiny they're like robots like they're too well of an oiled machine to be human. When it comes to intricate choreography that's done perfectly in sync, these guys take the cake. What I really love about Shiny is the fact that they work so good as a unit. Most of the members are extremely talented and have really like unique, distinct appeals, but they never overshadow one another because the reason their performances come out so well is because they can work together as a team so well. And let's round off the list with number one, Big, Big Bang. Bang. Of course. Big Bang are like kings when it comes to commanding a stage. Is Shiny still together? 
Okay. Each number has their own unique appeal and special way of like enticing the crowd. When Big Bang takes the stage, rather than it being like a performance, it's more like they're at a club or a party because you can tell that they're like having their time of their life on stage and they're really good at hyping the crowd. That's actually one of the things that really makes Big Bang stand out among other groups. Instead of like strictly following choreography 100%, they gotta just go with the flow and play off the energy of the crowd of each other, which always makes their stages like super lit. So that's my list for the top five best K-pop idol performers. But as always, guys, I'm going to have to ask you, what is yours? In your opinion, what idol groups or idols always deliver when they take the stage? Make sure to tell me down below. And for more of me, you can check me out on my channel, Deli Dose, where I just uploaded a video getting down to the bottom of who is trying to destroy Ayu's career. Hmm. And as always, guys, if you want to watch your favorite dramas, HD. Ask okay. <clears throat> so that's the end of that. That was a dope video. I like all those groups. Uh, I watch Shiny. I watch. Oh, I love me some CL, uh, uh, BTS, freaking Big Bang, all of them, man. Pretty dope groups. I'm just upset my boys got seven wasn't on there, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this must have been like in 2015 or something. So I have to go back and do some research on that. But I believe it was a 2015 year. But uh, I just want to see if you guys, you know, agree to that. I want to see. I'm trying to catch up, you know what I'm saying? See the evolution of K-pop and everything like that because I know you guys are always bringing up other groups that are not are disbanded and stuff like that. So I just want to see what was popping back then. It's good to always look back, start from the beginning, and then work your way on up. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, guys. If you like that video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, baby. All right. Thank you all for coming out. If you want to, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Uh, thank you all once again. Now get out my face.